It's gonna be legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys are getting this amazing voiceover just because my audio did cut out on me in the beginning part of this video. So I just wanted to explain what was going on. So in the previous video we did put the rack on, the rooftop tent on, and in this video we are installing the fridge slide, the fridge, a uh, little table on the side of the trailer, and then we're also going to be adding on 12 gallons of onboard water in a system to fill the water tanks and to get water out. So anyway, stay tuned for this video. All right, so now that we have our holes drilled out, we're gonna get these in here and these are gonna act as our base to support the uh, sliding uh, mechanism. So I'm just gonna mark where this is at. So as you guys can see, the lip of the opening of the trailer is a little bit higher than what the fridge slide would be able to slide out. So I had this leftover lumber that was just laying around the house and it was the perfect height to get it elevated enough so the fridge could slide in and out. So that's what we were setting up here. All right, so now that we have our bases in, we can go ahead and get the slider, put it in here, line it up, and then we can bolt that right down to these boards. Sharpie marker and mark where our holes are. So we got the fridge slide bolted into place. Uh, basically you just push that, slides right out. So we'll get the fridge on here and just make sure you know everything works as it should. All right, that works pretty good. Now we just need to get these straps on the fridge just to hold it into place. All right, and here's what it looks like all put together. So, like I said, I'm probably gonna put a couple more things in this kitchen area back here, but this was the biggest thing that we needed to do was get this slide in here, get the fridge installed. And then we are gonna have a, there's a pass through up to the front and that's where the battery storage is gonna be, which is gonna hook into the fridge. So seeing that fridge slide was so easy to install and it actually was pretty quick, it's probably not enough, you know, just to make a full video out of. So I do have this shelf system that I do want to mount right here. We can go ahead and do that right now as well. All right, so this is a shelf system I got off of Amazon. Uh, the reason I liked it is it's a double decker system and what we're going to use this for is probably like our dishes and whatnot. So we can have like, you know, soap, uh, you know, a spot to put your dishwater, stuff like that. So, and then I'm gonna have a spout coming out kind of in this general area with a water spigot. But for right now, we just gotta mock this up and then put where our holes are gonna be and then drill our holes out. All right, to mark this and get it in its right spot, I had to recruit my wife just because I can't hold this thing up and mark it at the same time, so. Like always. <laughs> and my lovely assistant here with me. Okay. All right. Um, Go, I have the base of it. Go ahead and lift it up right here. That way I want to see how it folds in the bottom part too. Okay. Yeah, that should work. Okay. And take it off and bolt it on. So now that I know where my holes need to be, I'm going to go ahead and start drilling those out and then we'll put that thing back up here and then we'll bolt it into place. assistant back out here with me. <laughs> yeah, I just can't hold this in place and bolt it up at the same time, so let's get it in there. Got it? Thanks, 
trying to... Alright, so now that we got the top two in, I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom two in, and then we'll tighten everything down. Alright guys, it's a new day and it's a new project. However, it's going to be part of the same video as the table install and that fridge slide just because that was really quick to do. Uh, so this part of the video, what I want to do is I want to install a water setup. Basically, we have two of these six gallon water tanks in here. Um, so we're going to have 12 gallons of water on board at all times. And what we're going to do is we're going to plumb it today. Uh, we're going to have an inlet valve that's basically going to be able to hook up to a water hose. It's going to bifurcate and then go down into these two tanks and then fill them up. And then we're gonna have another outlet valve that's gonna come out right over here. And I have this little um, pump that I'll show you guys here in a minute um, that'll be able to pull from those two tanks. And then that way we can have onboard water. So these are a couple of the things that we'll be using for this project. Like I said, we have two of these six gallon water tanks. Um, you can pick these up almost anywhere. Uh, Meyer, Walmart, Amazon, they're everywhere. Um, so we have a six foot um, garden hose and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half that way we can have one end dropping into each one of these tanks. On either end of these um, we're going to have this here which is going to help bifurcate it and then on the, the end of that we're going to have this here and it's going to go right there and then this is going to be the piece that we're going to actually drill out a hole into the um, the box in the front area there. We're going to slide this in, silicone around it to make sure it stays in place, and then that's going to hook into there. So that is essentially going to be what we're going to put water into and then drop into these tanks. And then for the opposite end, we have this here, and this is going to be our water out. So I'm going to have this hose go, there's going to be a small hole into the trailer as well. That's going to go into there, and then these two are going to drop into each one of these tanks. Um, that's going to be able to pull water out of it. So this is a basically a cheap little um, it's a mini water dispenser I got on Amazon. I think it was only like 10 bucks. Dometic makes a version of this that's pretty much exactly like it, but it's 10 times the cost. It's USB rechargeable. Um, I've used it a couple times and it works really good. So that's what we're going to go with. First thing I want to do is I want to mark where I want to have the inlet and the outlet valves are going to be. Um, so the outlet, there's already a small hole right here from where the previous owner had something installed. So I think I'm just going to use that same hole. I just got to widen it out a little bit and that will come out through here and then we can have it drop down and then it'll hook right into the bottom of here. And then that way we'll be able to fill our sink or, you know, fill water cups or anything like that. Uh, so that's for the outlet. Now for the inlet, since the two tanks are going to sit here right next to each other, what I'm thinking is probably right around in this general area. And then, like I said, this will be recessed in, and only this part here will be sticking out. That way we can hook our hose up to it, and then fill both tanks at the same time. So let's go ahead and get that marked. Alright, now that we know where we want our holes, we got to start drilling. So I'm going to have to find my step bit to drill that out a little bit more. I'm just going to take the flat disc and clean up these edges real good. Alright, we got our hole. Alright, so now that we got our pieces split, we're going to take our bifurcating piece and just go ahead and connect those. Well, the hole that's already pre-drilled into the top of these tanks right here, it's a little bit too small for me to put this line through here, so we're going to have to widen that out. All right, so we got these two tubes in. 
Um, I think I cut these a little too short. I think they're probably only maybe this far down. So I think um, when I head back up to the hardware store, I'll get a little bit, little bit longer ones. But, you know, for testing purposes, these will work for right now. For this portion here, these are the tops to those tanks. So I could just, you know, simply just have these kind of laying in here like this. See, there's a little bit of a gap. Water potentially could get out if it starts overflowing. So what I think I'm gonna do is, these are the center caps for them. Um, what I'm gonna do is drill a hole through here that's just big enough to have this pass through. And then I'll clamp that on there and that way it's just more of a better seal. So I had to modify these tabs just a little bit. I cut that lip off and then I had to widen out these holes just a little bit just to uh, make sure that the uh, the hose is going to be able to slide through. So I did miscalculate how long this tubing needed to be. It's just long enough to poke through this little hole here and maybe come out an inch or two, but I want it to come out to the end here. Um, so not a big deal. I just got to run to the hardware store, pick up a little bit longer tubing. It's only a couple bucks. All right, guys, I did run to the hardware store real quick just because I wanted a better way to get this to clamp in here. Uh, so we got this bracket here, and we're going to use an L bracket and then put a bolt right through the top part of that just to kind of clamp that in place. I also picked up some of this longer tubing. Um, that way it'll reach all the way to this little table over on this side. So what I did there was basically I took a clamp, hooked to an L bracket, and then clamped it all together, and then put that L bracket, and I put a bolt through uh, so it's holding this in place. Now, um, this shouldn't go anywhere. Um, you can still turn it to get the, uh, the nozzle on. Like I said, it's solid. It's not going anywhere now. So now that I have all the connections in place, let's go ahead and get it back in the trailer. All right. Let's go ahead and fill this thing up and see how it works. So our tanks are full. We have 12 gallons of onboard water. Let's go ahead, go ahead and see if our sink works. There it goes. So yeah, pretty easy setup. Like I said, we just got two cheap six gallon water tanks, um, hose going in, tubes coming out to this little pump that I got off Amazon. I'll uh, affiliate link it below. Um, super easy setup. You know, it's not the fanciest of things out there, but hey, it works. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for checking it out and we'll see you guys in the next one.